Well, Tisha, it is shocking. It is disturbing. The video just hard to watch and every parent I spoke with is shocked that it's happened and they're disturbed by what they saw in this video. Damn. Two boys fighting in a Wakefield High School bathroom Tuesday, sparking outrage tonight among concerned parents. I'm completely in shock. The thing I don't understand is how stupid is that kid that his friends, I'm guessing his people who were with him videoed that put it online. The victim's father telling ABC 11 his son was involved in some sort of dispute with the girl in class on Monday. The two going back and forth when things eventually escalated. That girl telling her boyfriend who then allegedly asked to speak with the victim in the men's restroom and then the beatdown. It's not right. That's the bottom line. It's not right. According to the victim's father, his son suffered a concussion and other injuries. We reached out to the school district and Wake County Schools told us at 1040 a.m. yesterday, two male students entered the men's restroom to engage in a dispute over a female student. School administration are currently investigating the altercation to determine violations of school board policy. The fight, despite rumors on social media, is not gang related. The problem is if you're a parent on your own trying to deal with something like that, the school's going to tell you what the school's going to tell you. At the end of the video, one of the students filming says that's 20, an apparent reference to how long the fight lasted. The parent telling ABC 11 there are 30s and 40s with the length of the fight determined by the severity of the offense. This kid is going to be in trouble now. They know what he did. They have, they have eyewitness account and it's online and everybody can see it. And according to the parent of the victim, his son's attacker has been charged with misdemeanor assault. Now, his son did return to school today, however, asked to go home early as he was not feeling well. That's the latest for now. We are live in Raleigh. Dewan Hogard, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.